without Facebook and iPad. So in that sense, so probably iPad makes another exclusion and the, the, the other com, com, competition too, of course. But uh, because of iPad, many people, disabled people, or even children can now uh, very easy access to internet uh, because of iPad. It is, uh, of course, it makes many problems in, in family. But uh, before, uh, when uh, people uh, didn't learn how to type, they couldn't, uh, ac they couldn't have access to the internet. But now, uh, only small children can use the internet too. So it makes another, of course, other competitions, but uh, it is also exclusive, uh, inclusive too. And, uh, ah, to, yeah, mentors. I find essential, I find no essential difference between, in that sense, uh, physical and mental disability. Uh, when, because, for example, uh, oh, to, for design of education, um, we always do exams how we can do a better, but uh, at least personally, I, I don't understand why we need exams. And uh, it makes ranking among uh, uh, children, students, and what help, how, how help it? You know, that it may makes us just uh, 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 think that I'm bad, or I'm good, or I'm better than others, or I'm worse than others. That, uh, I, I think it is not necessary, right? Without examination, we can just learn and have fun, and that's it. It's better, probably. It is also the design of education. When we have no exam, then it's maybe really better. May, of course, it, pro it makes uh, other problems probably, in this competitive society. But uh, it is uh, probably not bad for just learning, right? So uh, when we have no exams, then uh, it is uh, not so problematic for, uh, or in schools, we must get together, we must listen to teachers, but why? Why do we have to listen to teachers? <laughs> they are often very, very boring. Right? So why do we have to listen to teachers? And uh, uh, sit in a classroom at the same time? So it makes, uh, for many people, uh, physically disabled or mentally disabled, uh, more di yeah, maybe difficult to learn something, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, it is, uh, yeah, as uh, for, for your question, it is very, of course, that uh, there is when uh, a kind of uh, inclusion solved, another exclusion comes, of course. And I think, I, I cannot imagine uh, the society without any exclusion, but, yeah, for example, I, I, uh, even if we can say that the, the iPad makes problems too, but I think iPad is good for many kinds of people. It makes really, uh, uh, gives possibility for various kinds of people, right? So, I, probably I cannot uh, answer your question so well, but, uh, there are, of course, new exclusion too. And uh, to define what a uh, designer is, is there is, I, I was explaining so that, there is a professional designer and, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, amateur designers. We are, for example, uh, participatory uh, design uh, is uh, uh, 
done by uh, us too. For example, you are unconsciously uh, participating in the process of uh, production as a uh, 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 social network user. We participate in the process. And uh, we don't know that. But uh, we are, so to speak, designers too. So th this definition is too broad, but uh, I don't think that we should uh, distinguish uh, or define uh, designer so uh, narrow sense. Yeah. So we are all designers. Uh, of course, as I said, uh, most, of, most of us are bad designers probably. We cannot organize our lives so well. But <laughs> when we organize our life, or our own life, well, then that means that we are uh, good designers. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's very inspirational and allows us to think a different process, social process of uh, inclusion for everyone. My question is, uh, you talked about tangible uh, exclusion and intangible exclusion. And you provided uh, examples of designs, mostly is uh, tangible designs of inclusion for certain easily recognized uh, excluded persons. So could we move a step beyond, uh, broaden the concept of uh, maybe design, okay? And also broaden the concept of uh, the disabled. And also uh, so-called social inclusion. Uh, if we could view it as an ongoing process, social process of inclusion, then we need to think how to really recognize those people who are uh, excluded not only the, the, the ones in our communities, but those people uh, living in the same society but not considered as a part of the community. But moreover, uh, what kind of design can free people from the prison house of ideology? Now, those people are actually grew, uh, they grew up in this environment, educated and everything, they exercise their discrimination techniques. So what kind of design could allow us or people to go through, as you said, you in, uh, emphasize on those uh, exper experiential processes, but how could we really uh, dissolve all the walls of uh, segregation and exclusion on all accounts, genders, uh, differentiation, sexual differentiation, and uh, non-citizenship, differentiated citizenship, or other things. So uh, uh, some of our colleagues mentioned that you, you talked about this clearly physical in uh, disabled people, but there are a lot of other kinds. If you want to think of a society as an ongoing uh, process to include everyone to become a citizen. That is not a national uh, centric or ethnocentric citizenship, but citizen, those people who dwell in that society could be regarded as equal, but there are historical barriers, uh, religious barriers, uh, ideological, gender, cons uh, identity and so on. So could you elaborate a little bit on that kind of design, social design? Uh, if the purpose want to be inclusiveness, your suggestion seems to point into the direction of design something universal. In other words, what you propose is that universal and inclusiveness 
goes together, right? Okay, and but my question is that there is another way of inclusiveness, which is not universal, or maybe the opposite. How you cover differentiations. The word doesn't exist in your presentation. I'll give you an example. TV channels can decide two ways to be inclusive. One is that protect the programs that can meet the interest of our watchers. BBC TV channel in the Australian system, they say that give towards the middle ground, include every people. The American goes the opposite approach. Provide as many channels as possible. Each channel is narrowly targeted people. And give the freedom proof to people to control their remote control. <laughs> you see it? Very spe specific parochial channels, but give you the freedom of remote control to choose your own choice. Or Australian or the British system have a kind of uh, more well-defined uh, channels, the program that include everybody, but everybody receive the same universal package. The American, the package is on your choice. I can use Chinese to say that we can imagine two different scenarios. 第一个场景是我们现在在这里头开会，然后外面呢有人在敲门，说我们也要进来，我们也要进来。然后我们说，哎，对对对，我们要 be inclusive， 所以我们就把门打开，那些人就进来了。结果接接下来又有一群人在敲门，说我们也要进来，我们进来，因为我们不是在谈 the rest of the rest 嘛，好，又要进来，所以全部都进来了。所以在这个在这个场景里头，基本上有一个东西是一个绝对正向的价值，叫做 inclusive； 有个东西是一个绝对负面的价值，叫做 exclusive。那接下来我们就想第二个场景，第二个场景是说，在所有的 inclusion 中间，我们怎么样看到 exclusion？ 就简单的说，有人要进来，他不是一个永远的进来，进来的人基本上是要赶一些人出去的，进来的人是要去把这个屋子叫拆掉的，所以我们基本上是要看到所谓的 inclusive exclusion。善意的一个 gesture， 谢谢。Question of、uh, Joyce.、Uh, everything is designed. That means uh, uh, we can design for good purpose and bad purpose too. So. We can design the society for more discrimination too, of course. So it depends on our purpose and intention. So, but uh, when we uh, try to uh, be more uh, inclusive, try to be more inclusive in society, or we first uh, our as first. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. We must be conscious about, uh, conscious, more conscious about uh, where the exclusion is. It is uh, not, uh, not always uh, easy to uh, find uh, what, what, is ex what exclusion is and where uh, it is. So, uh, and I, don't, I won't say that every kind of exclusion is bad. Maybe there is good uh, exclusion too. Probably uh, no uh, women and uh, 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 men want to go to the same toilet. Probably. So it, 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 we need the differentiation too. So it, it, it depends on what, what kind of society we, uh, uh, we, we will uh, create. Yeah. So. And uh, the next question, it was, uh, yeah, uh, we must uh, uh, distinguish the, the universal design. Uh, inclusive design is, uh, I think, a sort of universal design. 
The, the point is, as I said, universal design is said uh, 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 in terms of product, but inclusive design is uh, 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 is uh, inter, uh, in terms of uh, process. That is the difference. But uh, we must distinguish inclusion and integration. Integration means that we must uh, the same, all the same. We must do the same. But inclusion means that we are included in a, 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 in a, a, in a society or group, but we can be different. That is the inclusion. Inclusion uh, can uh, allow the diversity too. But integration is uh, more intolerant to diversity, I think. And uh, uh, oh, well, uh, so what, what was the question? The question was. Always bad, but inclusion is not always good, of course. And, uh, but when we uh, try to uh, include more people, more uh, more things, then uh, we can design. For example, as I said, as you said, that when we uh, keep the door open, everybody can come without uh, knocking the door. So it is more, probably uh, more inclusive. But of course, then the, the somebody. Who, who has nothing to do with this conference can come too, but they probably she, he or she will, will realize that it is not uh, her place or her conscious place. So in that sense, it is probably better when we uh, keep the door open than closed. Yeah. So, but the inclusion.